welcome back if you are new here welcome welcome you know the drill come on in i hope you have your tea take a seat and enjoy the vibes this is editor mage here because my dumb tail forgot to turn off my additional mic and so i pretty much had an echo for this beginning portion so i'm just going to re-record it <laughs> so i initially wanted to do this reading because i was interested in the fallout that's been going on with miley and her father because i know what's coming up uh, a bit after she won the grammys for um i want to say it was her live performance of flowers um so i was interested in it and a lot of gossip rags and stuff like that was talking about how her and her father are still not seeing eye to eye and that the rift may be possibly growing within the family so that's what inspired me to do this reading with that being said you know i have to issue my disclaimer if you are someone who does not like tarot numerology astrology if you think divination or someone telling you know, I'm putting this in quotations, telling the future, anything like that marks them to be a heathen or they're going to hell. This is your moment in time to click off the video and find something else on the recesses and corners of YouTube for you to better enjoy. I do not want to upset your, upset your spirit. With that being said, I do have to point your eyes to the bottom of the screen because... All statements made in this video are alleged for entertainment purposes only. They are my own opinion. They are not facts. So do not take it to heart and take what I say and run with it and feel like it's the end all be all because it's not. At the end of the day, we're all human. We all have free will and things are liable to change. Just <laughs> being fair. The other thing I also would like you to do throughout the course of watching this video, my videos in general, I don't care if you're watching um, even another tarot reader or um, someone who is a seer or an oracle or a medium, always use the power of discernment. That is the greatest power you can hold. Always exercise the power of discernment. I don't care who it is. What whatever rings true to you or that you feel is right for you stick to that so now that i have all of that out of the way i'm probably going to cut this and just go right into like the first two cards that flipped over was um the king of disc and the four of disc and i stated that this feel like of course this is something it feels like legacy money um maybe feeling like attention or time is being split or taken away from the centralized family and when i say the centralized family i mean like miley her mom her sister the brother um now that he has a new family that he is starting because i believe him in the new girl that he is with because if you didn't know uh billy ray cyrus is um in a relationship allegedly because no, it, it's, it's been out there. He's in a new relationship with one of Miley's co-stars from the Hannah Montana show. I want to say the girl is in like her 20s. I want to say she's, she can't be older than 32. And so it's been a lot of like controversy around that. But yes. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to know too that came up in the beginning of this is that I was hearing that... The very thing that she is really upset about her father father about, like when you get to the root of it, the thing that she's really upset with him about is something that is also reflective in her. I don't think it's something that's like genetic. I think it's something that's more like inherited. It's like a, it's like a learned behavior kind of uh, thing. I don't know how else was kind of like the best way I can word that it just feels like the very thing that she hates about him is something that she has also picked up within herself and I think I do address it again later in the video stating that it basically deals with like they tether when they're going through transformations they tether themselves to a certain partner that kind of like reflect it or or help balance who they are transforming into but that'll come back up again later the other card that flipped over was uh, the Judgment in the World card. And of course, to me, this just felt like Billy Ray Cyrus was feeling that he is being judged by everyone. The world is judging him without even 
understanding his point of view, understanding his side of things. I think he feels like more people are being sympathetic to how um, Miley may be feeling, but not like where he is and how he may be feeling and what he's going through. And although he may under like understand that, he understands how this could read to the public, it still feels quite unfair. Um, and next I grabbed the, I got the Ace of Spades. And of course to me, this immediately read like sexual influence. And what I mean by sexual influence is that I feel like, th yes, the wands can also read to like creativity. It can be that uh, creative spark, that drive. It can be the start of something new. But to me, I feel like a lot of his inspiration, it, you know, a lot like most of us, a lot of our inspiration we get from real life. And I think, or from our personal lives. And I think he was starting to feel like he was stuck or he was in a place where... Yeah, he just felt like he couldn't level up or grow anymore with his music where he was with Miley and the family. And um, it, it kind of reads like midlife crisis. I don't, it just kind of reads like midlife crisis essentially. Like I need something new because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of being stuck in kind of like a certain box and I'm wanting to flip that on his head essentially. And then I got the Nine of Cups, followed by the Devil for the underlying energy. And from there, I believe I do go into explanation on what I mean by that. So we're going to get back to past me. <laughs> to uh, old habits, old um, ways of thinking here. And with the Nine of Cups, it just feels like I want to be free of that. I want to be independent of it. I want to be free to choose and do what I want to do. I did. I've. And on my on my personal opinion, I feel like this is more Billy's in Billy Ray Cyrus's energy that I'm tapping into. Of like I did all I've done or all I could for the family. I kind of want to go back into doing for me. Um, which I would like to call bull crap on because from what I've gathered, um, I feel like he kind of did what he wanted to do in the first place when he got with Miley's mom because then he have a kid with another woman or something like that before that. And he had been, cause he was on, he went through an addictive period or something like that. <gasps> Let me come back to that. He had an addictive period or something like that, where I think he was like dependent on alcohol and he met her mom and she, he credits her with like getting him together. And, um, Miley being kind of like the, the crooks that kind of like, or the additional turning point, the the straw on the camel's back there really was like, okay, I got to get my behavior together. But going back to that, yes, the devil also deals with addictions, old habits. So I wonder if he's back on the stuff, okay? Um, but we also have the death card here in reverse. So to me, it's, and with this ace of stays and the underlying cards being like the nine of cups and the devil, um, does he have a hard time kind of just finding his way out of bad situations until he's in a relationship? Um, he always needs, he's like very codependent. I wonder if that's kind of like what I'm picking up here. Um, and the chariot here of like, you just refuse to let go and move on. Um, it, it reads like stagnant energy. Like you've never kind of like had to stand on your own. You've never grown up. You've never kind of like had to take the hard road here. Um, for, ooh, sorry, for Miley's energy. So that would make sense if it is something where this is stemming back from his addictions, whether it's sexual, is alcohol, is drug related, um, um, whatever the case may be. And that's probably why he's getting back into bed. I don't know if you see the bed here on this card. I'm hold it up for you. It's literally a bed in here for the judgment card. You are judging who I am being with. And I feel like the whole world is going to judge me no matter what. Um, so I just want a piece. I want a place where I can find solace. So I definitely need some more explanation for why Miley has the chariot card in regards to her father. 
yep, she wants him to just stop this romance. Just stop it. Like, stop being in love. You're weak. <laughs> well, no, I would say this. And this is probably why I got that message earlier about the things that she hates to see in him and vice versa is something that they both have in common. Um, I feel like Miley also gets in relationships that is very reflective of where she is in her life. I think a lot of us do. Um, I feel like this guy that she's with now, I've never seen this guy a day in my life. I don't even know who he is. Is he somebody in the industry? I don't know. Leave it down in the comment section below. Um, but I feel like it's very reflective of where she is in her creative process or where she is in her healing process. I feel like it was the same thing when she was with, uh, what is his name from Australia? Um, it's not the Scott's guards. That's not them. It's the other brothers. Um, I keep wanting to say his name is Liam, but I don't think that's it. But I feel like when she was with him, she was kind of, she was the Miley who was, uh, in this creative process where like she wasn't being taken very serious in her music. So she had a very serious relationship, um, with somebody that was kind of like very traditional. I think that's a nice way of saying it. Very traditional, very safe. And I think that's kind of like uh, something she hates about her dad, but she also does it herself. It's, you know, it may appear differently, but I think she also has that about herself of like, you're very, your relationship is very reflective of where you are in your healing process or, or your creative process. And that could also be where the Ace of Stays is coming up here. Um, So it's very explanatory. She just wants that to stop. She thinks it's embarrassing. He really doesn't need to be with this girl. Um... She's over and done with it. She's like, why, what do you even have in common with this person? Like, this is disgusting. You're, you're going to ruin our happy home and what you had with mom and, you know, all the things that we had together just because you want to throw it away on this girl. Like, it must be the drugs. <laughs> so let's see here. Or it must be the addiction. Addiction. yep principle to me especially with the hierophant so this is uh, a lot of judgment um he is feeling about his relationship um especially when it comes to the conversation that people are having about his relationship with this person with this young lady he definitely feels a lot of criticism critiques um uh is it envy it just feels like he's being talked about a lot because of his relationship with this person. Um, and nobody is really understanding and seeing where he's coming from. I don't know. But it's like, okay, what did you think, Mr. Billy Ray? Can I get one more card in regards to Billy Ray's energy here in regards to the Lord and the judgment card? Okay, let's see. Practicality. Why would the practicality be here? Venus in the moon. Does he feel like I've worked, I've done the work, I've been there, done that. I did, you know, I did the happy home, the picket white fence, the, the two or three kids. I've been the loving husband. I've been the rock and roller. I've I've been the heartbreak kid. I've been all this other stuff. Now I just kind of want to relax and be... Dirty dog is what came to mind, but you know, now I want to relax and just kind of like enjoy, um, without still having to put on airs or being pretentious or something like that. Look at the other underlying card here speculation. Is he tired? Is this an embarrassment? What they call it, um. What do they call that ritual where it's like you you this is an embarrassment ritual or like that or a, or a shame ritual in order for you to get out of Hollywood like this is what you have to do in order to pay your way to get out you know how some people believe in uh, the Illuminati I wonder if that's also something that is uh, humiliation that's what it is humiliation ritual so I wonder if that's something that's coming up but I don't know I just thought that was something to note here. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Because everything wanted to kind of like pile up in my hand. Is this okay? Okay, so I have a couple of things here. Rebellion and birth. Birth wanted to come up before too. Does... Okay, I'm really wondering, did he have a child with this lady? I I thought I heard that they did or they were trying for a family or she did have or she did welcome a new one um, last year sometime or something like that. I wonder if there's also the other issue here. Amali is like, why are you having, why are you connecting us to this lady? What, what the f are you thinking? Like, this is not helping anything. Also note that the birth and the death card, no, the birth and the death card comes up in reverse. So this could actually mean death because the birth card is coming up in reverse. <laughs> And then we have rebellion. So just to me, it feels like, again, that energy that she hates about him, she has within herself of like, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to stand out. I'm going to step out here. I don't care what anybody thinks. It's the ace of staves. It is that Mars energy, but it's also coupled here with the air. So like the thought process, what you're doing, the creativity, it could also be the sexuality of it all with the birth and the rebellion here. So it's just kind of, to me, it's like, I'm going to choose a partner um, or, you know, um, yeah, I'm going to choose the partner that I want. I don't care what anybody says. This They are a reflection of where I am. They are going to help me kind of like level up or um reflect where I want to be in life or where I think I should be or where people telling me I should be in life. That thought and creativity behind it all. And I don't care what anybody say. Any additional insight to the energies in Billy Ray Cyrus and his daughter? Okay, so all of this flipped over in my hand, and I'm not counting any of this. It was like seven cards. So here we have steadily penetrating. Anytime I get that card, especially with a reading like this, it just reads very sexual to me. Maybe like sexual deviancy. We also have flow in reverse. We also have inner truth. I think that is something, again, going back to what I was saying earlier, the same thing that you see in him and he sees in you, you don't see in each other. Like you don't see or you don't see within yourself. And that will help uh, this situation a lot because you you totally understand. Not yet across an opening. And what is the underlying card here? Confined. And I've spoken to that again earlier where it was just kind of like, um, I don't want to put on the facade anymore. I kind of want to live for me. I want to just be. I should put this up and move this down so I can still read the word. So 
obviously, I do think there is a restrictiveness in the communication between the two because um, on on Billy Ray's side, I feel like he feels like, okay, you're just not going to get it. You don't see it, even though it's like right there in front of you. You aren't trying to hear me out on my side because you're still too angry and hung up on um, kind of like what it looks like, what it seems like, why you're angry, why you upset. Um you're, you're hung up on a lot of all of that versus where she's like, you know, I'm, I'm sick of kind of like, I don't know. I'm sick of dealing with the blowback is what I'm getting. I'm sick of like what your actions do for, I'm sick of answering for your actions. I don't know. Or like having to clean up behind your actions or something i don't know that's kind of where i feel like that would be more so him but i don't know that's just kind of like what i'm getting and so i think there's a, a restriction here on kind of them coming to the table and telling it like it is and talking and letting their truths be known whether the other person um agrees or understands whatever it just feels like that's a restriction here and i think they aren't at a point yet to where they are going to talk um and things kind of like iron themselves out things come to a completion it's at least not right now this particular energy who knows they may make up later or whatnot but right now it's it's some very restrictive energy it's not going to get solved at this moment in time um there's just a lot of stagnancy here so i wonder if the the death and birth card here is just saying like this is really speaking to like a deep cut a deep separation between the two which is sad because like I remember watching Hannah Montana. I remember being like, oh my God, they have such a wonderful relationship. Like that father-daughter duo is awesome. Like they were like the epitome of a father-daughter duo. Um, and to see it kind of come to where it is now, it's crazy. So yeah, I and I think um, as sad as it is to say, because I do not want to excuse his behavior at all. I'm not excusing it. But I think it's just a thing of like, um, at least in this energy that I'm in, I feel like Miley will one day understand why her dad uh, does a lot of the things that he does, uh, especially after being in the industry for so long. I think she's going to start to understand why he does the way he does things the way he do. If she doesn't already, but just doesn't want to acknowledge it. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm getting with this reading. I It doesn't look like it's money. It, it just looks like, yeah, I just don't agree with the choices that you've made. Um, or at least that this choice that you made, why did it have to be this person? Um, I, I don't like it. Um, that seems to kind of just be the energy between the two. Like, I wish you would have chosen better. I wish you would stop thinking with your... Okay. Um, with your safe, I wish you would stop thinking with your safe here. I wish you would start thinking, um, more openly. And I think he's just like, I wish you would be more open, uh, to hearing my side of things and understanding that I'm just tired and that you and your mom still want to play the game. And I kind of don't, I'm, I'm over it. So, or, you know, a simple thing of like, it could even just be like me and your mom are in the same, um, we're not on the same level anymore. Like she wants to do this and I want to do this. Like it is whatever. Did her mom have cancer? Was there a health scare there with her mom? Cause something about health, I feel is another thing that probably came up. Um, that's coming through for me, something about health. And I feel like it's the mama. And that made him just be like, life is short. And I don't, you know, love you, but I don't want to be, I don't want to regret or something. I don't know. Some weird thought process behind that. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you like this reading, leave it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this reading, give it a thumbs down. If you would like to see more readings like this, make sure to hit this notification bell and subscribe so you can see the next time that I upload. With all of that being said, I thank you for watching this video. I wish you a great day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video.